Hey gang, and welcome to the Cyrano's Place channel. I'm Coach Cass, and today we're going to do a product testing. There's been a lot of discussion about covering your face underneath your fencing mask, so we have the absolute uh, face covering to try out. Now, disclaimer, I am not claiming whether or not this does or does not uh, filter out any of the virus and is protective or not protective about it. All I'm just working on is to tell you how comfortable this is to fence with. Now, the mask is very silky. It's a nice tube. It's going to go over my head. There is a pocket for a filter. I'm going to put the filter in, if you can see. Um, shove that in there to be a filter. Um, it kind of looks like it's going to fit in this little pocket. And then I'm going to flip it on over my head. So it fits like a scarf. Yeah, that's that's not very warm. Um, I can tell you that right now. Little ear pieces to kind of keep it up. I can flip it down, it seems. Flip it up and shove the nose piece in there. And you can hear that uh, the filter is impeding my ability to speak. Okay, I'm getting a little foggy. But if I get it right, I think this should be okay. So. I'm going to do some lessons. I'm going to fence a little bit with Sarah, who also has one of these, and get two opinions on how functional it is as a tool to fence with covering your face. So, let's go try. Uh, so this has just been handed to me to, to try out, but uh, it's pretty lightweight. Um, very stretchy. I like the, the material feels like it'll be very comfortable. Um, definitely better than wearing a cloth mask underneath the, or like a disposable mask underneath the mask. Um, I like that it has uh, loops for the ears so that it, it'll stay up while you're moving around, especially with the fencing mask on top. I was actually pleasantly surprised to see that it has a space for a filter instead of just being a cloth mask. Okay, you can see the problem I'm getting is if I breathe, breathe heavily, um, I'm talking about my glasses, but um, there's a certain amount of I'm going to get that with everything I do. Um, sometimes this gets positioned in such a way around my nose that it's not. Um, right now, it's kind of kind of moist, um, and I'll have to see how it feels in a minute. But even though it's wet, um, from, from breathing hard and from perspiration. It feels like, you well, actually, that's dry right over here. Um, it feels like with good wicking material, this is gonna dry off quickly. Um, the filter is okay, as long as it's not blowing the air right into my glasses, that's my only problem. But actually, this is really comfortable, and I don't feel that it's making it more hot under here, um, I end up having issues with overheating, um, heat exhaustion, things like this. This is not making me feel like I'm in threat of getting overheated as such. So I think what we'll do is take a little break and see how these feel in a little bit after cooling down. I like that the mask is lightweight. 
Um, I mean, it's a little bit difficult to breathe with a filter, but I think any mask would be like that. Um, there's some difficulty with it staying up over my nose as well as my mouth, especially when I put my fencing mask on. Um, but I think if I pull it up high enough uh, at the beginning, and I'm if I'm careful when I put my fencing mask on, it's not, it's not necessarily too much of a problem. Just takes some getting used to. Um, but overall, it's much better than uh, masks that are not designed for fencing, for sure. So overall, I like the mask. Um, still having some issues with it sliding off of my nose a little bit. Um, again, if I pull it up far enough at the beginning, generally uh, it's okay, but it definitely slides down over time. So something that fit a little bit better over the bridge of my nose would be nice. Um, but overall, it's a much better uh, and more comfortable alternative to, uh, to other masks that I've tried. As I finished huffing and puffing and catching my breath, that was a lot of fun. I haven't been able to fence like that for a good while. Um, I did discover that if I actively open my mouth, it does two things. One, it means I breathe through my mouth more than my nose. I didn't realize how much I breathe through my nose when I'm fencing. Um, but two, it doesn't fog up my glasses as much. So if I, I'm like fencing with my mouth like that, which I probably should be, it's better. So from a fencing standpoint, yeah, this is really comfortable. Um, it's a bit wet and slimy like I am at this point. Um, but from a purely comfort standpoint, um, this is comfortable. This is comfortable. Yeah, it's sliding down my nose a bit. Um, sometimes I can get the wire to, to sit just right and it'll kind of go like this. And it doesn't slide down as much and it's giving me less glass fogging um, but that's for me a major problem I can't fence without my glasses I can't fence with contacts on I know there are plenty of people out there um, so the glasses are a 50-50 but overall this is really a comfortable mask and I can already feel it wicking moisture off my neck and keeping me cooler Oh, sorry. It felt good to get on strip after all this time. Um, gotta say, uh, I'm liking this. I'm liking this product myself personally. Um, the trouble people are finding is slipping down the nose. Um, I've heard some people, even with bigger schnozzes than myself, having problems with the slippage here. It's it's very soft, and I don't know. Maybe put something a little tacky in there to hold it up. Uh, my thing being the glasses. When I was doing lessons, I'm breathing through my nose because I'm not working as hard, and I was able to hold, hold this up in a position that wasn't giving me a problem. I will say, however, trying to give a lesson with the filter and talking through it, I, I almost feel like I've got potatoes in my mouth, and i got to move the filter just away from my mouth enough so I can still talk, because otherwise it has a habit of, while talking, getting into your mouth. Um, I also was finding out that if I just fence with my mouth open for the breathing purposes versus closing it and going through my nose, that satisfied my issues too. The little ear hookies um, are comfortable. Uh, I've had some of the ear hookies for other face covers going out and about. And these again are that soft, soft material. It wasn't rubbing, it's very comfortable. For me, I can put my hair down in and around it without any issue. The back is wicking on my neck as well. And you can almost feel it kind of cooling in the process. So in the end, I gotta admit, um, I definitely like this product. I will admit though, I haven't tried any of the other masks on the market. Uh, I also do not know how well this does or does not filter 
for COVID-19 specifically, but in the end, it's a worthy product. Uh, I thank you very much for your time and patience and coming aboard as we evaluate the Absolute uh, Silk Face Cover for fencing purposes. If you like this, please subscribe, please share. Uh, feel free to leave comments below. Again, it's just my experience in terms of what's gone on with my trying it out. I welcome other people's comments about this, but don't forget to subscribe, share, and see you again on the Cyrano's Place channel. Thank you. Go for it. All right, let me try this. Hit me, please. <laughs> All right, should I hit you hard? Yeah, hit me hard. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oops. <laughs> That's nice. I oh, honestly feel nothing. Really? Here, let me hit. Ow! <laughs> <laughs>